A woman scheduled for execution at the end of this month may get a temporary reprieve. Today, in a hearing about Melissa Lucio's case, the district attorney who signed her execution warrant said he may stop it instead. Fox 4 Stephen Dial live with the update. Stephen. Yes, Steve, the Cameron County District Attorney testifying before the House hearing today saying that he doesn't think that she will be executed on the 27th of this month. He says if the court does not intervene, then he will. Melissa Lucio is set to be executed in Texas on April 27th for the death of her two-year-old daughter back in 2007. Support for Lucio's innocence is increasing. Most notably, 90 Republican and Democrat state house members signing a letter asking for the execution to be put on hold in light of new evidence and claims Lucio was forced into admitting guilt by what lawmakers call police tactics and bad representation. I believe so strongly that the system has uh, failed Melissa Lucio at nearly every turn. Um, I've spent weeks hours upon hours uh, reviewing this case, as many of, of my fellow legislative colleagues have. That's why nearly 90 state representatives have signed on to a letter, again, just asking for the pause button. Tuesday, the Texas House Criminal Justice Reform Interim Committee held a hearing in Austin. Representative Jeff Leach from Plano is the chair and two other North Texas House members are on the committee. During the hearing, a juror from the Lucio case joined four others saying, they regret her sentencing. Now just days away from her planned execution, I feel deep regret. The Texas Attorney General's office maintains the evidence showed a brutal case of child abuse. Lucio's conviction was upheld by all Texas courts. The U.S. Supreme Court refused to hear the case. The most important testimony came from the district attorney for Cameron County in far south Texas. Louis Sines submitted the warrant for execution and lawmakers say he has the power to withdraw it and pause the execution. What harm does it do to push the pause button? What, what harm could it possibly do a single Texan to push the pause button when the grave harm and the irreversible harm, the unmistakable harm that it would do to not only her Melissa, but for our entire system of justice, if her execution is allowed to go forward and we find out later that, wow, she was innocent. With all due respect, we're wrong because this case is still being litigated. We may still have the decision that you're waiting for, but for me to sit here unilaterally and just pull the plug on it, then what do I say to the other 195 poor souls that are on death row right now? After nearly two hours of back and forth, signs told lawmakers he believes Lucio will not be executed on the 27th, saying there are a lot of other things happening in court right now. Signs promised if a court does not step in, he would temporarily withdraw his warrant to execute. If defendant Lucio does not get a stay by a certain day before March 27, then I will do what I have to do and stop it. I'm owning it. And there are other powers by elected officials like Governor Abbott. He can do a 30-day delay of the execution. He can also pardon Lucio if he chooses to. Some lawmakers are calling for a whole new trial.